$500, 24 hours, three stores created from scratch, and all the results revealed at the end of this video. Now, if you're a complete noob and you know absolutely nothing about dropshipping, this is basically the process of you becoming the middleman or woman and finding products that can be sold to the Western market that are being supplied from Asia. The first step of our epic challenge is finding three winning products to build our stores around. Now I'm going to be using two big boy tools today with ads buy and PP ads. Now ads buy is great for finding winning products on Facebook. And these are the filters I really love ads that have recently been created. They're getting some likes, getting some traction. And obviously we got the shop now and language is English. So if we scroll on down, Hey, we're getting some smart watches. We're getting some other stuff here, home decor, but we're going to get some great products here. Now I know PP ads probably cost more than your mortgage and your entire bank account, but if you can afford it, it's an amazing tool. I find around 70 to 80% of my products using this. And if you want my filters, I literally just do the dropship filter they give you. It's so amazing. And you can find some great products. I feel like I've discovered the meaning of life after looking at that, but no. Why, yes, 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 a problem solver. A must have for any woman's closet to increase their beauty and confidence. But unfortunately, this video is already sexy enough with me filming, so it will be a no. Oh, hell yeah. We brought that at the next frat party. That would be absolutely fire, dog. Yo, low key, if I had that in my room, it would create such a romantic and dreamlike atmosphere. That's a definite yes. Bro, those slippers look mad comfortable, bro. If we don't get a lawsuit, we should totally sell them. All right, so we got our three products that all have the wow factor. They got the margin and one of them might get me sued, but let's get on to the next step, which is writing our description. Now, when it comes to writing descriptions, I understand it's a pain in the ass. No one likes doing it. So if you want a fast way of writing your descriptions and making them high quality, I highly recommend going onto Amazon, looking for a similar version of your product like we have right here and just reading the reviews. Whenever I'm starting a product description, all I'm doing is copying the best reviews that I find. I'm moving them over to a blank document. And what I'll do is just reword the words. And that's how I write all my descriptions. Because at the end of the day, you're trying to make your description as relatable as possible. And the only way to understand what your customer wants is to read what they're telling you. So let's start writing. Alrighty gang, it's currently 2.17 in the morning and we finally finished all three descriptions. As you can see right here, Shot Up is gonna be the name for our little alcoholic beverage dispenser, whatever you wanna call it. It's a super simple description. I really enjoy it. Honestly, guys, it takes me a while because I like to perfect these as much as I can. Now, all of my descriptions that are problem solvers will follow this format right here with the main benefit of the product. Then we have a sentence about the problem. Always identify the problem aggravate it and then transition into how your product solves the problem. And then after that, we get into the main benefits of the product and talking about with them, what's in it for me. All of your benefits should be telling directly to your customer what is in it for them when they buy your product. Does it transform their room? Does it allow them to save money? Does it make their life easier? What does it do and why is it worth it for them to buy? So at my done for you dropshipping agency, we build one product stores around every single product to maximize the chance of success. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do with these three products. Now, if you guys need any help or have questions about product research, building websites, or TikTok ads in general, feel free to DM me on Instagram and I'd love to answer any questions you guys have. Now, briefly checking these all out, they all have their own unique flavor, beautiful logos, great descriptions. We got beautiful, oh, reviews and oh my goodness gracious. All of them look absolutely great. I think these are ready to go. I'm just gonna quickly show you each one of them. So there you go with the reviews. And when we scroll down, finally, Crystal Glow, the one we were just working on to show you the whole entire process. The reviews are looking brand spanking beautiful. Great offer, great product. Let's make some ads. Now, when it comes to getting clips for your ads, there are plenty of different places like AliExpress, Alibaba, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. But my favorite place is always TikTok because this is already content that's made for the platform. And a lot of times you can take these clips, bundle them all together and make a very effective ad. All right, so we're on the ghetto desktop version of TikTok, but I looked up Crystal Lamp and as you can see right here, there are plenty of different videos with different clips. So this one's sort of shaking violently. Ooh, look at all those different colors. Looks very good. Now, as you can see right here, we got four clips that I downloaded off of TikTok. And really what I'm doing to make an ad, I'm usually trying to aim for around 15 to 25 seconds, super fast paced, lots of cuts so that I can put different benefits on screen. So we have a lot of fat 
as you can see right here. And we really just need to figure out the three to four second clips that we can pull out from all the fat. Who are you? And how did you get on here? You infiltrator, are you some sort of Russian spy? Bada bing, bada boom. I think we got a great ad right here. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna do a little bit of ASMR because my little 10 year old Shih Tzu is having his puppy nightmares. So when I'm testing these products, I'm gonna give TikTok a bit of a sacrifice and giving them a $20 view content campaign along with my normal campaign of five ad groups, $20 a day, all a complete payment. I've just noticed that sometimes it can be hit or miss if you just set up your one campaign that's just for complete payment. So a good strategy is to always have this secondary campaign, the little sidekick that guarantees TikTok is spending money. So as you can see right here, this is the complete payment campaign. We got our five ad groups. Each one of them is complete payment. We will set up one so that you can see all the different settings inside the ad group. But now let's set up our complete payment campaign for the glow whatever crystal glow product so we got conversion on we are not doing cbo for testing i everything is going to be abo so i'm going to set up one ad group right in front of you so you can see exactly what our settings are make sure you have the right pixel make sure you have complete payment etc cetera, etc cetera. you know this so i don't have to baby you location united states for this product it's going to be geared towards more females home decor tends to be a female niche so we're gonna do that for ages. Always exclude those goddamn teenagers with no freaking money. Then I like to do one interest. Sometimes I'll also add a behavior interest. It's really up to the product. So let me see if I can just do home decor real quick. 54 million, that's a pretty good size. I think I'm just gonna do that interest by itself. This has been something I've split tested and I've noticed that having one interest is totally fine. Now we can see right here that I have this day parted. I'm not gonna do day parted. I'm doing all day. Usually I'll also set the ads to publish at midnight, but the thing is, it's basically midnight. Finally, after this, we need to upload our ads. And then getting over to our view content campaign, the only difference is that we have one ad group inside and that the optimization event is view content. So right now I'm setting up my view content secondary campaign for our little gaming slippers, whatever you want to call them. So again, optimization event is view content, click on next, put in your two to three ads, however many that you already made, sorry, Coco. But once you do that, click on publish and boom, you got your two campaigns, TikTok will approve them and hopefully that will solve your spending issues. See, that's the difference between you and my, while you were sitting around sleeping, doing niche, I was out making TikTok moves, publishing campaigns while you were sleeping the next day. Yo ref, time out, time out, time out. Stop the clock, stop the vote because it's rigged. It's been 24 hours and we need to see these juicy results. All right, starting with our worst performing store, Shot Up easily was not something that TikTok liked because it promoted alcohol related products and TikTok is a freaking narc. And anytime something's cool, they gotta shut it down. So on this product, we spent $96, $27 went to our view content campaign and 60 went to our main purchase big dog campaign, which honestly the cost per click is pretty good if it's under 50 cents or less on average which it's right under there as you can see i consider that a win i think the ad did really well which it makes sense it's a great product but our website just did not convert the people we had 120 clicks seven ads to cards which is really good that's a great ad to card ratio but none of them turn into purchases and if we go into the store we can see we had 463 sessions 11 ads to cards no purchases oh it hurts my heart to see that but i definitely feel like i took the biggest loss with the crystal globe because i spent 180 dollars on ads Jeez, louise my mr beast out here and as we can see on our main campaign we spent 153 dollars the cost per click was 10 cents and a lot of these which is great ads are performing very well your boy knows how to make a juicy ad but when we scroll to the right add to carts 17 of them usually about a third of add to carts will convert into purchases but for us only one out of 17 converted which is very low that just means our offer was not where it needed to be and obviously the copywriting needs a few tweaks and if we look at the website 1400 sessions 20 ads to carts was the actual number tiktok under tracked that amount in one purchase i've honestly never seen anything that bad in my dropshipping career so this is a good learning lesson about making a more enticing offer but did you really think papa ethan would have three failures in a row because if we look at our final store comfy shrooms the guaranteed winner 247 dollars in revenue today if we go to our analytics oh my goodness gracious 656 sessions 
37 add to carts. If you did the math, one third of those converting into purchases would be around 12. So this store should be even more profitable once I dial in my offer. And when we go to the ads, it's even more juicy. $130 in ad spend. And if we go to our complete payment campaign, you can see that TikTok really wanted to make it difficult for us. In fact, they actually didn't track anything that was an add to cart or purchase, which makes scaling this store a complete nightmare. So our cost per click on this was 16 cents on average. And I have to say, that's pretty good for all three of our products. So I do believe we have one winner right here that if we put more money into, we can scale this to the moon. I mean, honestly, who's getting these kinds of results on the first day of a new product? I'm just asking. I mean, let's see Paul Allen's dropshipping business. So just to prove this is legit, as you can see right here, refreshing the screen, $247. Let's now get into our profit and losses. So breaking it all down, we did $292 in revenue, $407 in ad spend. Ugh. Product cost was 114, most of that being the comfy slipper, $9 in transaction fees. Now for Shopify, I'm gonna do 120, even though I'm on free trial for all these stores, so technically it's zero. And since my time is valuable and I charge $300 for one hour consultation costs, I basically lost about $7,200 right there. So if we're doing the final calculation, our expenses were $7,850. We did $292 in revenue and our total loss is $7,558. I mean, as an entrepreneur, I know there's a lot of businesses out there that would love to only lose $7,000 a day. But if I'm being real, we lost about $358. And if I have one silver lining, it's that with Comfy Shrooms, the total loss was only $21. And if I keep putting more money into the ads, there's 100% chance I'll be able to make back all of this money in a day or two. Now, now with most professionals, about one in every seven products will be successful. So the fact that we tested three and one of them did pop off is an absolute win in my books. So I'm going to scale this winning product. But if you want to work with my team that will do this exact process for you and test five new products every single month to help you get to $1,000 a day or more, you can book a call down below in the description and we'll talk to you soon.